I am Cassie Nadanner, a new host and producer with Bayside Live TV. We're joined with Jessica Earl Gargan, who's running for civil court judge in Queens County. How are you today? I'm good. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. So the election is obviously approaching us sooner than we expected and with everything going on in the world. Uh, it must be a difficult time to be running for anything, I would say. Yes, it is. Um, the primary is just 11 days away, if I'm doing my math correct. It's on the 23rd. And um, it's the first time I've run for anything. I've, I've never run for office. Um, I mean, I ran for vice president of my student council when I was in Sacred Heart Grammar School, but that's about the extent of it. I've never run for anything. And when I received the, the uh, designation and nomination back in February, I knew I was going to have a primary race. I expected it to be much different, um, but given the circumstances of COVID, it, it, it took a turn. So a process that was going to be completely new for me running for office became extremely new because people who have done it before were uncertain of how to do it in these new times. Um, I planned on, you know, hitting the streets and knocking on doors and, and getting all over Queens County to meet people. That was my intention. I, I, I truly meant to do that because I would never ask someone to vote for me that didn't know me or have an opportunity to know me. But unfortunately, uh, the virus has made that pretty, I wouldn't say impossible, but very, very difficult. Um, so I've started a Facebook page. I have a website. I've been participating in Zoom meetings with various um, political clubs, or organizations throughout Queens County, um, trying to run. Unfortunately, my resources haven't allowed me to do things such as TV ads or big flyers or posters all over. Um, so I'm, I'm really relying on the kindness of my friends and family for word of mouth. Um, and, you know, again, I've, I've never done this before. It's, it's not what I expected. I don't plan on ever running for anything again. Um, I'm not a politician. I don't, I, that's not my forte. I want to be a judge. And in the past, I've said this before, in the past, primaries weren't really a thing for judgeships for a very long time. They are now, and I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. People should have a choice. But I think it's important that people research their choices and know who they're voting for. Well, personally, I will say that I'm proud to be standing next to a fellow woman who is running. Um, that really is remarkable, and it shows that we've come a long way, yeah. for sure. Um, but also, generationally speaking, um, I personally have never had to deal with the court system, whether that be a good thing or not. I, I'm fortunate, I guess, to not have to be in the court system. But I would say that a lot of my peers are not as familiar with the court system. And I don't want to say would overlook this election, but might not know what exactly they're voting for. So could you tell me a little bit about what a civil court judge does, what your responsibilities are, what a civil court case looks like, could be, and uh, the importance of this vote? Sure. Um, and that's, that's, you know, that's a question that I haven't gotten a lot, um, but I, I'm surprised that I haven't gotten it. Because again, in the past, there weren't, judgeships were more, you just went in and voted for who was there. You didn't know, at least on the, the civil court, Supreme Court in New York, federal courts, stuff like that is different. Um, United States Supreme Court, that's a different story. Civil court are, is for cases, obviously not criminal, um, that deal with anyone suing for damages up to $25,000. That doesn't necessarily mean physical damages. It could in some like car accident cases. Um, it could mean that you and I entered into the, a contract for a sale of your car and you gave me the car and I didn't pay you and you took me to civil court because the contract was for $15,000. So you would go to civil court for that. Um, other things are credit card debt. You know, people get into credit card debt. If you don't pay your bills, then the credit card companies sue. They sue in, usually in civil court. Sometimes it's in small claims court, which is a part of civil court, but a different, I, I, I'll explain that as well. So civil court deals with anything up to $25,000. So it could be landlord tenant, um, contracts of any nature. Again, the selling of a car, the selling of a bike, uh, the buying of a house, uh, property claims, neighbors, your fences on my property line or your tree fell and destroyed my roof, um, things like that. Uh, neighbors who have noise complaints against other neighbors. I'm trying to think of all the other ones. I said credit card debt, student loan debt, 
any type of debt where people owe money to a company or so forth and they're being sued by that company. Um, Civil Quote also handles, and this isn't so much for the everyday citizen, um, insurance companies do most of it, it's called no fault law, it's when you get in a car accident and you hurt your back and the doctors don't get paid. That's usually just between attorneys, but that is in civil court as well. Um, and as I said in an earlier uh, interview, civil court handles a lot of people who are representing themselves because, you know, it's expensive. It's, it's not cheap to get a lawyer and it's, you know, litigation takes time. And sometimes it will cost you more for the lawyer than what you're being sued for, so it's not economically savvy, so you're representing yourself. Um, civil court also houses small claims court, which is for damages up to $5,000. So anywhere from a dollar or 50 cents or you know, just not zero to $5,000. And there, people truly do really usually represent themselves. It's, it's uh, unusual to see an attorney representing either side in um, small claims court. So that's truly the people's court. And that's, you know, I've seen cases there. I've done those cases. I mean, I've seen cases, you know, because people didn't have pizza delivered on time or um, you know, they have a, they took their dog to a vet and the vet wasn't treated properly. So that he handles all different types of cases. It just depends upon the monetary value. We'll be back with part two of this interview with Jessica Earl Gargan running for civil court judge in Queens County. Stay tuned.